I think it's important to um, highlight, Eric, that we live in the safest state in Australia, without question. Uh, and this campaign of generating fear and loathing in our community uh, really uh, it didn't surprise me, because that's what Conservatives do, uh, but um, the argument that Tasmania is a wildly dangerous place where you need an organised crime squad, I just don't think bears scrutiny. Yeah, it, everything's good and rosy in the state of Tasmania. It's the Cassie safest O'Connor state tonight in Australia. Not conceded that the Greens the got one issue wrong. No. You know, when we lost in 2007 federally, we were willing to say on the night and in the days following, we got a few issues wrong, we were out of step with the electorate. How can you face such a massive swing against your own party tonight, Cassie, and be it on buses, be it on prisons, be it on police, claim that everything is rosy in the state of Tasmania? No, I never when the people have spoken in, state in Tasmania, such large Eric, numbers. But I'm conceding nothing to you. Oh, well, that's very personal. That's well, very I'm personal not. and indicative of the way the Greens play their politics. No. The new it's ugly and it's nasty. If the new it's government not. is looking at cutting public sector jobs, 500 full-time positions, according to uh, Mr Hodgman, up to 1,200, according to Labor and, and the unions, why would they be looking at establishing a new squad, bringing in additional public sector uh, personnel in this role, if the role as Ms O'Connor says, isn't actually needed. Well, because it's a question of priorities and what Will Hodgman and the Liberals have said very clearly is if there's got to be public expenditure, it should be focused at the front line where people want it rather than bureaucracies and people shuffling papers. The Liberals have said we'll shrink the size of the bureaucracy to ensure that we can have more men and women on the front line of service delivery and that has resonated with the people of Tasmania. Do you believe, as uh, the Tasmanian uh, Senator and as a Tasmanian, do you believe this squad is needed, that this is going to be money well spent? Absolutely, and uh, I hope it is established and uh, I'm sure that Tasmania will get the benefit of it. Why is it needed? If the figures suggest otherwise, as Ms O'Connor's arguing, why is it needed? Oh, well, you know, Cassie O'Connor believes there's peace in our forest. Cassie O'Connor believes that everything is fine. Can I, simply, can I simply indicate that uh, I don't swallow that line and the Tasmanian people haven't swallowed that line and the Tasmanian people have voted for a change very emphatically and this issue was one of those that Elise Archer worked on exceptionally well and... Uh, in no, uh, no doubt has played a role in the election result tonight. Rebecca White, as a Tasmanian, is a serious and organised crime squad needed? No, it's not needed. Um, Cassie's right, we do have the safest state in Australia and we have um, put through new recruits and into our police academy who are now out on the beach. Uh, yes, we have some cuts. We, ha we had to face a difficult financial situation here in Tasmania. We have already seen a, a very drastic reduction in our public sector workforce. To think that you can now come in and cut backline or frontline or whatever it is they're talking about without defining exactly what jobs you're speaking of is really misleading and I think the Tasmanian people will see that in the coming months if the Liberal government is elected as we're supposing it will be tonight.